guys and welcome back to another Yaya video and as you guys can see today is going to be me doing my hair whilst I'm in Ghana. So a lot of you guys do know when it comes to wash day I kind of neglect my hair. So this time round I did the exact same thing. I had my hair in braids for a while but I wanted to just prolong my hairstyle before I washed it. So as you guys can see over here, I'm just really just drenching my hair with a lot of water. I like to make sure that my hair is thoroughly saturated. The water goes all the way through my hair. And I like to make sure that I'm able to kind of wash out the gel from my hair as much as possible. So next what I like to do is then get my hair and part it into four sections. I just find that this is the easiest way for me to get my hair nice and clean and it's easier for me to work with it. But as you guys can see over here, I then find myself in a bit of a knot, literally. So what I try to do instead of ripping it apart is just go through the strands that are kind of tangled up and try to unravel them separately. This is what helps me reduce my breakage and avoids me getting any short bits in my hair. So as you guys can see over here, after I've parted my hair into four sections, I like to again make sure my hair is thoroughly saturated. Like I want to make sure that water is in my scalp and everything's good. I then go in with my Ivy Wild shampoo. This is not sponsored, it's just what I managed to bring me to Ghana and I actually really like it. So I like to grab the shampoo and put that throughout the length of my hair. I focus on my roots especially and then I grab my favourite tool. I will not lie to you guys. This is a sort of um, shampoo washer I guess, shampoo brush that you can use to just kind of get there in the scalp make sure everything's out and it makes my wash day a lot easier and it feels so nice. So whilst the shampoo's in my hair, I still do like to detangle, make sure everything's out. As you guys can see, I've got a bit of hair that came out, but don't worry, we're in the detangling process. So just be aware that you probably will have or see some strands come out. So what I like to do next is get the shower head and just kind of let all the shampoo run throughout my hair, focusing on my roots as well. And I go through a few times, but I don't show it in this portion of the video. So then what I like to do is then go in with some conditioner. Again, as I mentioned, I have the Ivy Wild conditioner and I put that throughout my hair and I like to make sure that I focus as well on my ends. And whilst I'm out here, actually, I'm going to try my best to see if I can find any Ghanaian brands that I can get my hands off just before I leave. I am always leaving, so I'm going to try my best to see if I can get some. I did ask you guys over on my Instagram what your recommendations were and you gave me a few. So next I like to get my Tangle Teaser and I like to make sure I'm distributing the products all the way through my hair. So I start from the bottom and then I work my way up to get out of the tangles and just to make sure the conditioner is touching every part I need it to. I then get my hair and part it and put it away before I move on to the next section. So I pretty much do the same thing again. I make sure I rinse out my hair, get my scalp massager and really get into there. Rinse that out again, follow through with some conditioner and then carry on with the whole thing. So I do every single section of my hair, rinse that out and get ready for the styling process. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but I am in a bit of a different scenery today. I'm currently in Ghana. So I'm sort of going to take you through my realistic sort of prep that I do for my hair for when I'm going to put it into a style. So today we're going to opt for a wash and go, mainly because it is obviously hot in Ghana. And you know, it, it just makes sense. We don't really get warm weather often in England. So whenever I get the chance to, I definitely take it. Okay, so now that I'm out of the shower, I have been out of the shower for quite a bit. Again, it's just me being me, but I'm going to be doing a wash and go. So what I'm going to be doing first is passing my hair into four sections, as you guys can see, as I always do. I just find it very, very simple to work in sections, so it's much, much easier for me. So I've already washed my hair, as you guys can see, but I did leave it to dry quite a bit. So I'm just going to spray it with some water to get it down. So I usually use, as you guys know, my Camille Rose Moisture Milk. I've run out of that. So I've decided to go today with the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In. So I have used this before and I, I think I like it equally as much. Um, this one seems a bit thicker than the Moisture Milk, but I don't mind um, thicker leave-ins and things like that. So I'm just gonna go through and pop that throughout my hair, as you guys can see here. Let's make sure that I am getting my ends as well. And what I like to use to detangle is my wide tooth comb, as you guys can see here. And then I like to go in with my tangle teaser brush just to make sure that everything's thoroughly detangled and it's saturated throughout my whole head. 
<laughs> so for my oil i am using as what i always use i kind of just pick up any oil that i can find um this is my ivy wild it's a super seed scalp oil but i like to use it throughout my hair because to me oil is oil so if you watched any of my other videos you will know that i really really love to add some s curl to my wash and goes i don't know what sort of thing this thing does like when you put it in your hair as i've said loads of times it just feels like water it just feels like like it's doing nothing but it makes my hair I don't know what it does but it makes my hair have a bit more hang time and it also gets rid of that eco styler crunch that i usually have so i like to put that all throughout my hair like so just brush it out and if you're new here sorry about how much eco style i'm going to use but i use quite a lot and i actually use the green one so i like to be i'm a bit heavy handed with it i'm going to just put my hair into a few more sections and just put that all the way through so as I mentioned, usually I would do like a protective style, but because of this occasion, no, not occasion, I would say, because I'm in Ghana at the minute, I kind of want to have, be free, <laughs> and as perfect sort of temperature for me to be able to have my hair out. Ghana is quite humid, so my hair would really be drawn in quite a bit of moisture. I'm quite happy with that, if I'm going to be very honest with you. So as I go along, I try to detangle my hair with my thumb and making sure that I get through to the ends as well. And we also don't want to forget is the roots. A lot of people neglect the roots. So make sure you're putting some on your roots, but not on your scalp. So now that I've done one side of my hair, I'm gonna go away and do the other side as well. Okay, so I've gone away and I've done my um, the rest of my hair for wash and go. Because I'm going out today, I'm literally just clipping it back. But when I come back, I will show you guys what the end result looks like. Okay, so voice note yar is back. And as you guys can see, I didn't manage to come back and record the ending of my hair, but this is the finished product. So just to let you know, this is a little bit of a snippet just to let you guys know that yes, a Ghana vlog is coming. So you guys get ready for that and I hope to see you guys in the next one.